goddamn eh, hogs? We could sit here and holler all fucking day. Ah! Oh, wrong hog hunting. My bad. Well, today's review is another heavy metal gamer show first, a hunting game. And this is Hog Hunter 2021. Developed and published by Moth Interactive and released in 2021 on Steam. And only released on PC. The game is a free to play, but you don't have to pay any money for it. There is really no story behind the game. Basically, you go out and hunt some hogs as you've just been approved your hunting license. Although there is something about missing hunters and all that type of shit, but you won't have to worry about that. You'll be good. Just go out there and hog hunt. Hell, you might see a fat fucking hog from Tennessee out there. You will explore two forests and claim your prey. The game has some stealth mechanics and four endings based on what you do. The graphics for hog hunters are eat a fucking call you an Uber, but in all seriousness, pretty cool. Kind of goes for that indie horror retro style to it. The game is colorful in the style of a hunting game and they do look great. At night, it's pretty spooky spooky out there, but I do like the way the game looks. The map seems a bit small to me and not open as much as I would like, but it's not a huge issue. But in general, I think the graphics are great. Nothing to say bad here. When it comes to the music, there really isn't any. The game is focused mostly on sound effects so you can hear what's going on and mainly atmospheric environmental noises, which is pretty cool. Although I do wish something spooky and scary for music would have been in the game, like at the main menu or something like that. The sound effects from the environment, birds chirping, the gunshots and so on are great. The little bit before you start your hunt on the TV is pretty cool and the sound effects from the TV. While nothing mind blowing, I think it fits pretty well for this game. The controls are simple to understand. I use the WSAD keys to move around, left mouse button to shoot, right to use iron sights, and shift to run. Pretty basic and respond quite well, which is kind of surprising. Hog Hunter 2021 is actually a pretty cool game, but it is a bit on the basic side, and that isn't a bad thing. A very short game, which is somewhat of a downfall, but for a game that is free on Steam, it could be a lot worse. I like the aspect of horror added to the game. The graphics are cool. Has like that retro horror inspiration. Kind of sucks that there's no music. Nothing over the top when it comes to spooky, scary shit, but something would have been nice. Thankfully, there is a nice amount of sound effects, and they are good. The controls are simple to understand and respond well. I do wish there was maybe a few more maps. That would be really cool. These are small flaws, nothing major. The game is definitely playable and it won't take you long to get through. Replay value is kind of low. It would be something way later on down the line I'd play again. And I don't see many people putting over an hour into it. But at the end of the day, it is pretty cool. Now, like I said, the game is free to play on Steam and it's not one of those free to play games with microtransactions. Although there is DLC for $1.99 and that is the dev notes and dev cabin code, which I find to be a bit odd for DLC. You don't see that very often. And why are the dev notes behind a paywall? That's just fucking weird. But it's optional. You don't need it. Just play the game, have fun. If you are really good, you might put 25 to 30 minutes into this. This is the only game from Moth Interactive on Steam. On their itch.io page, there are a few games that are free to download. I'm guessing this is a small developer of maybe one or two people, but I would love to see them do some other horror type of games. Well, that is it for this review of Hog Hunter 2021. If you go to Portugal and you see a hog in 2022, don't hunt it, but you can punch it and knock it down. Thanks for watching, you motherfuckers. Kick ass.